So something we're going to talk about the heat by see tracking the tropics but not our storm if this turns into anything let's just get to that right out the gate nobody exactly. has to be fearful of this one and and really no one because we just got the new update from the national hurricane center and they dropped it to a zero well, percent chance good. of development we so, like hearing that yes absolutely that is the new update this is a broad area of low pressure here that's really disorganized so you can see that it does have a zero percent chance of development now it's located just a couple hundred miles northeast of the central Bahamas and it's become unfavorable for development thanks to upper level winds being too strong and some dry air. So it's going to move north northeast eastwards at about five to 10 miles an hour over the next couple of days. But yeah, you can see it's just nothing that is developing. Just a friendly reminder that we are getting close to hurricane season. So please tune in June 1st for our hurricane special while we get you prepared and your loved ones prepared for everything you need to know. But by the way, it's not uncommon for early storms to form before the official start of hurricane season and around Memorial Day weekend. And actually this year we already had our first storm out in the Atlantic. It was a subtropical storm back in January. But again, we are just getting close to hurricane season. So something to keep in mind and always be prepared and have your plan in place. But there is nothing for us to worry about when it comes to the tropics and here now we're just dealing with some warm weather and not a lot of rain. We do need the rain. We have below average rainfall totals. When I'm tracking rain, I see this one small shower here over in St. Damony. Really not a lot. If it holds together, it might cross between Slidell and Pearl River. And then on the south shore, we had this one shower that just barely passed north of Raceland. Again, not a lot out of that shower. Along our coastal areas, we've been seeing a little bit of development near the mouth of the river here and there. Temperature is sitting in the 80s right now, 83 degrees. Slidell and at the lakefront 84 Bell Chase in Galliano 82 in Gulfport feels a little bit warmer than that. Now in Buras it has a feels like temperature a heat index of 90 degrees feeling like 88 degrees for places like Bell Chase and Grand Isle feeling like 90 degrees over in Holma. There's a little bit of a breeze out there seven miles an hour at the lakefront six Bell Chase three in Bogalusa the breeze coming out of the north generally. So overall today it will stick around there out of the north around five miles an hour northwest at times partly sunny today. I do hope we see a little bit more sunshine later on today. Rain chances stay low at about 20%. So when it comes to the rain chances, models want to favor that on the south shore. Of course, we've seen a passing isolated tiny shower on the north shore. I think that remains possible too. Again, if any thunderstorms develop, models really point that to the south shore. Other than that, we're going to drop through the 80s down into the 70s this evening. Overnight tonight, lows in the 60s on the north shore, 70s on the south shore, a mild and quiet night and start to your day tomorrow. Tomorrow will be just a little bit warmer than today, maybe by a degree or two. An isolated spot might reach 90 degrees. Most of us do stay in the 80s with again only a 20% chance of rain. Normally this time of year temperatures are right near 87 degrees and we're going to stay right around that range over the next few days, really over the next several days. I keep us in the 80s, the middle and upper 80s over the next seven. We'll get close to 90 next weekend. Rain chances stay between 10 and 20%.